I'm Julie Meridian, and I'm an experienced designer with the XD team at Adobe. One of our goals is helping people communicate better, and we see multi-touch as a way to help you get your idea in the form you want it to faster. The difference in touch technology today is that some of it is indirect, where you are working separately from what you're seeing. So a touchpad on a laptop is an example, or a tablet that you plug in via USB to your computer. Both of those, you're working in one spot, but you're seeing the results in another. Multi-touch is the new thing. You can walk up to the screen and grab this and grab this and do something with it. Everyone points to Minority Report. Everyone is excited about that. And the instant you talk about multi-touch, they say, do you mean this? We're all going to wear gloves. We're all going to be Tom Cruise. <laughs> but Minority Report was really interesting because that, that presented a way of working that people hadn't really thought about before. There are social interactions that are being worked through in movies, and they do start converging on certain ways of working, and that definitely influences the next round of technology. I'm Tim Krakowski. I'm an engineer in the experience design group at Adobe. Most of what people know about multi-touch right now comes from either their iPhone or, or gestures on a MacBook Air. So one of the challenges in designing and building for multi-touch is that the future arrived amazingly quickly. We went from having no hardware available to word that Windows 7 is shipping this year with multi-touch support. We're hardware agnostic, which can be a challenge because we don't create the hardware ourselves. But it's also a tremendous opportunity because we are focused on making technologies that can run on any kind of hardware. The first part of this is to use it internally and figure out how this will fit into our platform, how this will fit into Flash Player, how this will fit into Flex. Here's Photoshop CS4, and with the multi-touch on this trackpad, I can do things like um, I can zoom in, so I can pinch, and I can also pan around in my image. We saw that there's a rotate gesture, and we hooked that up to something that's been a long-standing request for our Creative Pros, which is this ability to rotate the canvas. And this makes it much easier for artists to draw naturally because your hand moves in a certain direction. And if you see an artist's work on paper, then they'll move the paper around all the time. They don't even realize it. Now they can do something similar on the screen. One of our goals of this is to continue our platform leadership Pretty much anything that goes into Flex goes into the Flex open source projects. So what we learn from this, we definitely can feed back into the community. One of the things that we talk about within the XD team is this notion of content is king. And it absolutely applies here. Because if we can, if we can eliminate not only visual noise, but cognitive noise. So instead of finding a tool so that you can zoom to get to a point so you can continue painting, multi-touch can allow you to just get there. It's a way to put the artist's mark more directly on the idea. What I've got on the left-hand side here is an interface built with Flex that allows me to configure a color by adjusting its red, green, blue, and alpha values. I'm picking my color in real time as I paint, and by having control over the alpha and the pressure, I get a relatively fine level of detail even with you know, as coarse an instrument as my fingers. Digital tools tend to give you a very precise look. Think of vector graphics. Vectors are mathematical formulas. When you can use your hand and make a mark, it's almost like dragging your fingers through sand. You, you can't deny the directness and the power of that. We're taking it for granted that we encounter touch in our daily lives when we are doing simple things like going to the ATM. Multi-touch is just an extension of the touch technology but it enables much richer interactions. It's going to enable anybody to use a computer faster. 
It's inherently more accessible for people with mobility issues, um, the elderly who may not be able to be as precise in how they move a device, um, children who come in with no preconceived notions. I believe that these gestures are going to be present in multiple contexts in our lives. It's a very interesting time to be working with this technology. It's the early days, it's the Wild West. It's this marriage between hardware, industrial design, and software. And without that, the technology is simply an interesting demo.